I wish Sean Brady would talk about local unconference. Uh, Sean runs uh, Formby First, has been a parish councillor, and is now a network weaver. Tell me about it, Sean. Well, it's not an original uh, description of myself. I think I originally came across it uh, by reference to Tessie Britton. But basically, what drove me to, 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 to develop this view of myself in this way was my annoyance at people who are talking about big society, the loss of community life, when having retired from a town which essentially I treated as a dormitory, retired from work, I suddenly discovered it was full of big society activity. But generally, it's in the form of people uh, joining associations, University of the Third Age, allotment associations, uh, bridge clubs. Big society is alive in that form at community level. But the trick is, how do you get those people who are essentially living in silos, sharing their interests, how, how do you find a way of joining those together, finding the common links, finding the common issues? As a parish councillor, I found the trick was to join the association. The more networks I became a member of, the more I could say at a meeting, you need to talk to so-and-so who belongs to such-and-such. And, such. and after a while, people then began to say, do you know of anybody who we could ask? And I then realised that I was effectively a network weaver. And um, we also uh, touched on the work of Eileen Conn, who um, talked about the different um, uh, areas of uh, kind of formal institutional live organisations that have paid workers and how very different that is from what happens um, in the community. Yes, I, I mean that was a, a link I picked up through something that uh, Will Perrin was writing about. It may also, David, have been something that I think you'd featured on one of your social reporting occasions. So I became interested um, and, and followed the link up, found the paper, and for me, uh, the, the model that she'd got, based on her experience of essentially finding out about associational life in her community, matched exactly my view about what I'd found. And it helped in a sense, it helped me to clarify my thinking. So I would certainly recommend looking at her paperwork and her, doc her document, because for those who want to build community or want to find it, that's a very good insight into the way it actually exists. Um, so a, a lot of people here are running local blogs, local online um, communities. How can they play a part in building community? Uh, now that's, I think, a uh, $24 question or $24 million question. Um, in my case, I, I, I came at it because I was a, an elected councillor. I felt a need to, to give an account of what I was doing. But gradually, by word of mouth, people say, oh, why don't you put that on Form B first? And they, on one occasion, somebody came to me and said, uh, they were talking about something, and I said, why don't you, and I told them about something, and they said, why don't you put it on, on Form B first? I believe this is a very good website. And they were actually telling me about my blog. And it seems to me that by word of mouth, gradually, you build a readership. So I, I, I'm not a community activist. I'm not going out actively promoting the, uh, the blog as a centre for uh, collaborative work but it is happening gradually by word of mouth and I find at the moment the, the most effective tool is Formby Twitter where I'm, I'm using the words Formby Village instead of Formby First to focus on the very centre of the town because it's a brand because everybody talks I'm going to the village I'll meet you in the village I'm going to have a walk around the village even though it's a town um, and that's also leading uh, to a sense of collaborative uh, community amongst a whole range of people, including young people who are saying, Formby's on Twitter, with tones which are quite uh, astounding from their point of view. How can Formby, it's full of old people, how can it be on Twitter? So I think it happens gradually. And I think on top of that, uh, it's a bit like um, uh, a surfing... Uh, you know, on the sea, hyperlocals are coming, and they're coming in a big fashion. And I think that the big media is suddenly beginning to wake up to it, and suddenly the two are going to meet somewhere on a shoreline. And there's going to be a remarkably impressive crash of water on rocks. And at that point, I think hyperblogging 
will be the, the name of the game.